Hello world, this is Random Fix and today I'm going to show you what I do when I rent a vehicle at the airport. The last two times I have rented a vehicle, I've had an uncomfortable situation and here's how I remedy it in case it happens to you. So when I first go pick up the vehicle at the counter, I'll make sure to do a complete walk around on the vehicle. I'll point out any nicks or scratches, any imperfections in the vehicle. And I started doing this because I rented a vehicle and it had some pre-existing damage and they tried to blame it on me. Long story short, uh, I had to actually call my credit card company. They ended up canceling the credit card for me. Uh, so that way the merchant couldn't force it on there. But it was a big hassle and I, that's something I don't want to go through. And then the last one that I rented in Orlando, the vehicle would not stop shaking didn't have any oil so I'm going to show you how we go around that now and I'll just do a complete walk around on the vehicle I'll point out if even if the vehicle has scuffs on the hub, uh, hubcaps here and I'll record the employee in the background and say the date as I'm making my video and anything I notice I'll go ahead and uh, point out on the video even something like that that happened at a valet place so now I've had to do this at valet locations as well and once I get in the vehicle I'll go ahead and start it up and I'll actually note the miles on the video so this would be 41 589 I'll go ahead and note the uh, amount of fuel, which is less than half a tank on this one right here. And any other lights that I see on, if I turn the vehicle on, and this is a rental, and you see this light right here on, which is the TPMS light. If you notice that right there, uh, this is something you wanna immediately turn back to the airport and return the vehicle because a lot of these new rentals do not have spare tires and you could be five, six hours away from the airport and you're gonna get stuck. I happen to be about two hours away. So it was a four hour round trip to go get the vehicle returned and get another one uh, that was in decent condition. And before I actually leave the airport, I'll check the oil now on these cars because the last one I checked didn't have any oil. And if you see any kind of burn marks here on the dipstick, this is something you don't want to take off their lot. They're going to try to blame you for possible existing damage. And I've had all these happen to me. And if you're driving on the freeway and the wheels start, the steering wheel starts shaking, or when you hit the brakes, you might have unbalanced wheels, bad rotors could be unsafe to drive so let me know what you guys think this is what i've had to do recently it's a shame but uh that's where we're at thanks for watching guys leave your comments and questions below and have a great day let me know if you guys have any comments hit the subscribe button and i really appreciate your continued support